at the Halfbrow House in Munich. This Halfbrow House is one of the most historic breweries in existence today. Now being more than just a brewery, this Bavarian house is most famously known for being one of the biggest and oldest beer halls in history. This brewery was founded in 1589 by the Duke of Bavaria Wilhelm V. And what's the reason for this brewery's fame? Why it's beer, of course. Especially brewed by Heimerin Pongratz in the 1700s, this beer quickly became known by people worldwide. It brewed its famous dark brown beer, but later added different selections to meet more demands in the 19th century. Its fame even led to the city of Munich being spared by King Gustavus of Sweden during the Thirty Years' War. Instead of burning the city, the king just accepted some hostages and the 600,000 barrels of the famous dark brown brew. From its start, the beer hall was only open for royalty, but some hundred years later, the public was allowed to enter, only giving owners a realization that they could not meet the demand caused by the beer's fans. Being open to the public for almost three centuries, the, the specific Hofbrau House has adopted a policy for its regular guests. Those families who spent many times there, many days a week, were awarded a specific dining table called a Stamtisch. Now, there's no buying your way into this tradition that requires a lifetime of dedication to the beer house. It has some stamp tissues that have been honored and attended for generations at a time. These regular customers also have the privilege to place their beer glasses or steins in a special area reserved for members who drink regularly. An area where they can clean, rinse, and lock up their steins for safekeeping. Now this Hofbrau House is a historic site for even the most famous people, including the composer Wolfgang Mozart, who spent many nights at the beer hall. Living just around the corner for easy access, he even credited a poem saying that one of his operas was written with the strong influence brought by many nights he spent drinking at the Hofbrau House. Even Hitler himself, although not a man who drank, ate red meat or smoked, held his first meeting of the Nazi Socialist Party in the third floor festival room. This meeting went so well that many more infamous meetings of the Nazi Party were held in the Hofbrau House. The brewery itself is responsible for the attractions of millions worldwide coming to see the city of Munich. The house can now supply a desired amount of pretzels and beer that you want with 14 selections of specially brewed beer. This is not an area you can miss and I personally recommend going, get some friends, grab some pretzels, and I especially recommend the dark beer, flavorful, tasty, and this is Ben, the Hofbrau House in Munich.